Hey guys, this is Hip TV News, where we keep you updated on the latest happenings in the world of music, movies, fashion, comedy, lifestyle, and more. Keep it locked. Be ready to face me in real life. Vector speaks tough. Social media is a curse and blessing. Lou maintain. Lil Cash clears air on beef with Olamide. <laughs> Nigerian pop act Olu Maintain has revealed some insightful thoughts over issues affecting him and his immediate society. Hip TV had a chat with Mr. Olu who says that the ongoing onslaught by terrorists across the world is strongly affected by the social media. The terrorists are getting more validation and exposure because of where the world is right now. That's why social media is a gift and a curse. Because social media, we are all able to see everything real time. You know, so take for example now, you're a terrorist. Now you know that whatever it is that you do is going to get some, some level of exposure and press. So that, that, sadly, that now it's enough motive for people that have so-called lost every sense of being positive in life to want to just outrightly do crazy things. That's why it's easy for, for terrorist cells to recruit people. Do you understand? Because people have lost that sense of what matters. Anything that you do now that can make the news, whether good or bad, it's worth it. While assessing the whining culture of parenting, he speaks on his father's impact on his upbringing. Um, like my dad now, for example, my dad is one of the few Nigerian fathers that I know that never struck any of his child, any of his children. You know, and it was, it was it, 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 it's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing testimony for me because when I tell people, people be like, "Are you serious in Nigeria?" I'm like, "Yeah, my dad never struck any of us," and. And now, what, what, what you find happening now is that we all love and respect him. We are not afraid of him. You understand what I'm saying? And I, I think it's, it's fair to say that we've all grown up to be, to be good kids. I don't drink and I don't smoke. And he does both. And he does both. But he raised us in such a way that he wasn't the kind of dad that would say, don't drink or don't smoke. But he just knew better. I don't know if you get me, you know, so that's the approach that I think people should adopt in raising ch children of nowadays, you know, because when you push them too much and you push them to the wall, they will revolt against you. And, and when, there's, when, there's, when there's revolution, it's not usually peaceful, you know, on both ends.